backstage post-fight UCW Summer Explosion Free with Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett, I know you're a Calgary-born boy, you're Alberta bred, uh, so it's probably isn't fair to ask you, but which would you prefer, Alberta beef or PEI lobster? That's a, that, that's a, that's a... <laughs> I'm probably more familiar with the Alberta beef, but, uh, well, I'm in, uh, the Maritime Town Bowl and Alright, awesome. how about Surf and Turf, then? That'll work, yeah, eh? that'll work. <laughs> the, the lobster I've had, I've had two lobsters today already, yeah. and it's been, it's, it's, it's better, as good as it gets. Yeah, oh, absolutely, man. Uh, so what's it like when you come out here, uh, to shows like this, and, uh, you know, you do your thing, and you see all the fans, what, what's that make you feel? You know, I'm always grateful that any fan, especially when I got a lot of younger kids that remember me from my time, because uh, I've been out of wrestling since, uh, well, for 12 years now. You know, I still try to carry myself like a champion, and I, I'm very proud to be Canadian. And, you know, I, I feel, I've always felt that I had fans across Canada. Not just, I'm not just an Alberta boy kind of thing. I'm a Canadian, uh, you know, Canadian boy all through and through. And I've had Sam Coke, and I'm uh, happy to connect with a fan base that I probably never see very often and I don't know the next time I'll be in Prince Edward Island but I, I never forget that I had a lot of fans here. Joined by uh, Brett Hart post fight at uh, UCW Summer Explosion 3. Brett, how come you don't wear pink anymore? I don't, I don't see any pink on you. You're not looking close enough. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, just an off day maybe. I, yeah. I wear pink a little bit here. In the <laughs> how many leather jackets do you have? Uh, maybe five. Yeah. Did, did the WWF pay for those when you were wearing them, or was that all you? WWF never paid for nothing. <laughs> yeah, they, I, all my outfits I made myself or had them made up. Uh, WWE never, ever paid for my costumes. They never, ever gave me the name Hitman. They never gave me the look. They never came up with the pink and black. I was all myself. And, uh, you know, I sometimes think sometimes it's like, you know, like when... Uh, I, f I created my own action figure. Like, yeah. Bret Hart is something I created. And uh, Vince McMahon's the guy that's got all his wrestling dolls that he created. He created Undertaker. He created Steve Austin. He created all these guys. And um, I'm like the one toy in his box that, uh, that he never created. You came back to WWE really uh, briefly for a, a, a one-off thing. What was it like getting in there with, with Vince McMahon? Because I know you talked about wanting to, to fight him before. What was it like getting in there with him? Actually, you know, the whole thing was a, uh, a beautiful experience. I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I, I, I thought it all wrapped everything up in a nice little bow, and uh, it was a better ending for me than the one I, uh, you know, that people think about for me. Uh, I don't, I never forget what happened with Vince McMahon and uh, Shawn Michaels and the Survivor Series uh, screw job kind of thing. I, I never forget what happened, but I. I think I learned that it wasn't worth carrying around a lot of bitter resentment. And, you know, the truth is uh, yeah, I've had a, I had a great career. I'm still having a great career. You know, I had a little incident with Vince McMahon at, like, the last year or so that I was there. And it's like I had this great career that I always want to remember, even what happened with my brother Owen. I, I know that we always were really proud of what we did in the ring. And, you know, like, I owe everything I sort of am today to Vince McMahon whether you like him or not and uh, you know we had our we had our differences at the end but you know the truth is I have a lot of respect for what he did for me All right, well Brett uh, personally this has been like a, a huge honor for me I was a big fan of yours uh, so thank you so much for uh, your entire career and for doing this man alright